What's up guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my World War II 1944, um, I guess this is like an airborne assault type thing in Normandy. So yeah, so, um, this, oops, let me see guys, it's falling over. This, um, it's just sort of based off like, Maybe the, a morning, the, or the morning after the paratroopers land, or a couple of days after the paratroopers land. Some um, I've got all of my paratroopers are American, and then one of all of them are 101st Airborne, except this 82nd Airborne trip over here. And yeah, so they're all um, basically taking this German flat gun, so they've been told to because it's been shooting down how much their um. Airplanes flying over, so the flat guns all dug in, and then there's a trench running out of it and that kind of stuff. But yeah, so this mock actually used to be a Battle of Silo Heights mock for Britmania's end of World War II mock contest, but then I changed it because the Silo Heights didn't look as good as this. And now this looks better, so yeah, um, start again. Yeah. So it's it's on a 32 by 32 base plate and then a 16 by 32 base plate. The whole thing's got a black border running all around the outside of it. That's how to start. So down here it's pretty flat down here. It's all flat with some grass on top of it. And then as it comes up here, there's um it's like some immersion to this hill, like an angle like this, angling up a bit, slightening up a bit. And over here, we've got this 82nd Airborne troop here with a Thompson gun, which is um, crested the top of the little hill here. And over here, I've just got an 101st Airborne troop crouching behind this little rock. And he's about to shoot at the Germans. Focus in a bit more. Over here, kneeling down on the slope, is a 101st Airborne troop. He's got a little bag on his side, and he's put his rifle. He's put it into like his strap, and then up here he's got a bazooka that he's about to fire at the position. And we just keep coming up, sloping. Here I've got the commander, Thompson gun, and here I've just got this guy over M1 carbine, you know, short stock, para, or something like that. Just starting to run up the hill. And over here I've got a bear gunner, another guy which um, para and one cut beam or something like that. So yeah, these guys are all from Britmania, all uh, Britmania stickered, and they all have their um, insignias and logos and their shoulders. All have brick arms helmets and they're all using brick arms weapons. But yeah, so after the um, hill climbs up here, this so if I was need some background noise, it's a bit windy outside where I live. So um. Yeah, and here I have this, it's, it's flat again, and this is all these grass pieces of course still, then here I have a little mound of the, the ground, um, as it comes up here there's some barbed wire, and then there's some dirt coming out of the, um, can't run this way a bit, coming out of the German trench, so it comes up. So all this different dirt that is mounded up because it looks like it's all been dug in. It's all the different heights and yeah. Over here I've got my machine gunner firing off some rounds. Camera's a bit hard on the tripod. Here I've got an MP40 gunner and here I've got a sort of a Carl 98 and they're all in this um this trench which runs down into the flat position. It's got this wooden this wood running down each side of it. Cause it dirt around it. Pretty basic trench. Here I've got just some more grass. I've got a, this nice tree. Here, these plates. I mean, I've still got a snot brick in the middle. Then I've got a plate, rough plate surrounding it. And then I've got it really wide at the bottom, and then it skinnies up. And then I've got clips coming out of it. Plates going off of them and then leave pieces. So it looks like branches. And then 
with the, this is going to be a really quick video guys because I'm not pretty much the final bit so there's all this grass ringing around here oh, um, hidden over here so if I get it back there I do have a um, go for an SC44 he's a brick mining minifig Panzer Grenadier it's there, um, reloaded, or not, not really, like, so. Get that brick arms are over mode of reloaded things, no, it's a, their, um, perfect calibre weapon. It's got the dot .44 camera on them. The flat bunker is a brick deeper, so when the trench ends, it steps down, and then it comes into the flat bunker. So got all the wood around it. Up here, I've got a, it's a Panzer Faust. And his tank missile launcher. There was more dirt around here that's so all been dug out. I've got um two K98 rifles right at the back. You know, there's and might be able to see them. It might be hard for you guys. You can just kind of see those right in the back corner of the bunker here. And then I've got my flak gun. Um, I've had a mind blank on what it's called. Um, it's a flak 36 or something. And yeah, it does swivel, of course. I've got this, it's pointed up and it's shooting at aircraft. I've got this guy manning it here. I've got this guy's putting in more rounds. He's always got an officer back here. He's telling them where, where to shoot at and that kind of stuff. Come right back. So, um, yeah. I think that's about it for this, um, this video, guys. Then a really quick look at this pretty small sized mock. I think slightly bigger than a mini mock, like a medium mock, small medium mock. Yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Until next time, bye guys!